Hello everybody, my name is Violet Embers, and welcome back to another day of Seven Days to Die. And, um, still in the tool shed. Trying desperately to, uh, not get my face eaten. And as soon as this is done, I am totally going to go up on the roof and just sit there for the rest of the night. And you know, if nothing happens, if it's just really boring, I'll pause it. I'll pause it. Alright, looks like... Sounds like they're trying to get in now. These zombies. They're so they're right. Ah, I got a... I got a shovel, which is even more awesome. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I will find, like, a great axe. Fire axe. Or even a pickaxe. I don't care which one. Well, I got tired. Ooh, a small engine. That means I can make a mini bike. There we go. Um, I know you can break the safes, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Right now it's all about survival. I'm trying to get as much craft together as I can. Ooh, I like this axe. That means, uh, goodbye axe. I can only hope I can get through all these crates before they get to me. You know, I did get more wood. That's a plus. Come on, break faster. I would love it if you break faster. There we go. Done. Ooh. I'm a lucky girl. That's the which one's better, the sack. 143, 139, I'll break that one down. Because when you're when you're first starting off, you're gonna need all of the all the iron you can get your hands off. Uh oh. You didn't see anything. Oh, oh wait, that was beer. Uh goodbye. I'll take this beer. Goodbye, dude. Uh, I might be able to make it back to my base. Yeah, I think I can. I'll, I'll make the run for it. I'm desperate enough. I could stay here and just, like, loot everywhere else, but, um, hmm. I honestly just want to go home and make some more iron arrows. You know, prepare for the next day. Hmm. I totally want that meat, but why? Why meat? Why must you tempt me like this? Oh, since I got like enough iron, I I'll probably like make a, a small farm to start off with. Since I now have a potato and some corn, all I need to do is grow it. And soon I will have the world. <laughs> well, not the world, but you know what I mean. Soon everything will be right with this world. Even though it has zombies in it. Hmm. I'm getting tired so fast. I don't know if I want handlebars. I think I'll keep handlebars until I can get a schematic. It's cool that you can get handlebars as a schematic. I actually want... I'm actually hoping for a schematic for like the small engine and the batteries because... It is super difficult to get get a hold of them. Like they don't have to make it like easy to make, but I would really appreciate it if they made it available. Uh, I would I want to run more, but I can't. I have no stamina for that, and I'm not gonna waste my uh, my water on that. Ooh, there's a deer. I might try to kill it. Uh, let's throw this away. See if I can kill it in one shot. Oh crap, I did kill in one shot. I am awesome. Wait, where did it go? What? What? Oh, search stag. There we go. Hopefully I can get to it before anything else happens. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep that meat. Do I need animal fat? 
I want leather too, but um, there's nothing. No, throw this away. I don't know where that stag carcass is, but I'll leave it there for them. They won't see anything. Actually, no, they, they smell me, so probably doesn't help. That just means I have to get back to my base faster. And hopefully not break my legs. How far am I from my base? I shouldn't be that far. Oh, there it is. My base. It doesn't look like gonna be anybody spawned here, so that's good. Yeah, no, I don't have any room. I will have room soon. There we go. I should probably make some, uh, start making some crates to store all my stuff. Uh, let's see. Store that, that. Oh yeah, I already have leather tanning, so that's awesome. And then put everything in here. Potato. Um, this. I think that's it. Mm, I really don't have a lot. I need to get more stuff. So since we got some scrap iron... Actually, no, maybe... Should I make scrap iron armor? I think I will. Uh, scrap... Hopefully there's scrap iron armor. It would really suck if there wasn't. I should probably, uh... Sit down and pretend I don't exist. Actually, no, I want to take one of them with me. Oh yeah, that sounds like a quite a few zombies. I'm gonna hide here. That sound like quite a few. But I should be safe. Let's see. No, I don't want scrap helmet. Or... Scrap boots is good. Oh, and I got a bunch of rebar, which means I will have iron for days, which is awesome. These guys better not, not find me. I'm so pissed. Uh, iron gloves, scrap chest armor. Okay, I need more, more of this for that. What about scrap gloves? Yeah, I can totally make scrap gloves. Uh, yeah, I probably should save, save up more. I might have more leather, because I do remember killing a little piggy and something else. A bear. So, so far everything is going very good for me. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh-oh. Don't find me. Yeah, I need to be quiet for, for now. If anything, the, the bear will find them and murder them for me, and I will be ha very, very happy. Let's see. I'm gonna make a storage crate for, for medical supplies. Although we'll have to wait for, for everything to pass. There we go, break it down. Recycling. At its best. Do I have any more iron arrows? No, I need to make more iron arrows. I'm gonna have to wait until these guys pass before I use this. Okay, so it looks like they are all wandering away. Super far away from me. Mm, let me put this down first. So where should I put this? I'm gonna put it right here. Nope, I can't. Okay, got it. I'm gonna put all of my medical supplies in here. Hello everybody, welcome back. Right now it's morning and yeah, everything's gone very smoothly, surprisingly. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna make a, another wood frame. I do believe there's like a bear somewhere around my house. 
So, uh, hopefully it's not too close. Because it's going to really suck. Although, it does seem her sound like a lady saw me. What's up, lady? <laughs> Goodbye, lady. You have good stuff for me? Nope. And, uh, I just made an iron hoe and, you know, made some seeds. So I can build my little farm. The question is where to make it. Yeah, just put it in the middle of nowhere. Right here seems good. I'm just glad I like the bears. Hopefully the bears don't mess up my my cute little farm. Two, three. I have to keep a vigilant eye on this bear because uh, last night he was around. All right, but it does sound like there's another bear around here that's murdering all the faces off of zombies, which is awesome. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, but at the same time also my enemy. Alright, so now that I've gotten that done, I just want to get this little farm going as soon as possible. So that way, by the time I do start getting hungry and it's hard to find food, I will have uh, food available for me. For myself. Then I can start making uh, some bear stew. Or some venison. Okay, can I do this? Nope. It doesn't look like anybody's noticed me, so that's always a plus. And now that that's done, there. Now we got a little farm going. We gonna make another little thing right here for the for the blueberries and the coffee. Blueberries aren't very important, but I make them just in case, just so I have everything because I like having everything. And since we got a, or since I got a pretty decent axe and a pickaxe, I'm gonna start start upgrading my base, making it all nice. And there's that bear, stupid bear. I should probably kill him, put him out of his misery. Yeah, what the hell? That's stupid. There we go. What, did I just kill him in two shots? Whoa. These things are awesome. And overpowered, but awesome. Now you know people. Go and start killing your bears. In the head. Headshots. And I've made a couple of these. Oh, no. I think I'll put this in here, though. Oh, and, uh... During the night, while I was waiting for my ultimate doom, I just made a couple of scrap iron stuff. They were not all the best of the best, but eh. I don't have it, have a ton of iron that I can waste on it, so I'm going to save it. Although I, I think I did just waste some iron while making that hoe, but eh, you got to get some new some. Which reminds me, I need seeds. Where did I put them seeds? There you go. You know you're very unorganized when you can't find your seeds. Put that one there. I do hear like a lot of, like a couple of zombies hitting everything. So hopefully these will grow pretty fast. Which I now remember that since this is a, a solo player and a single player, time won't pass and it's going to be very difficult to get all of the, all of the wood I want. So hopefully none of these trees give me insta-death. Because, uh, in the fixes, that they did say that they fixed it. However, some of my friends have been complaining that they're still getting killed by these guys. Oh, and also, if you haven't figured it out yet, or if you're just really new, uh, they try to plant saplings, like, on just regular ground like this. Don't plant them on the grass, because that will most likely be your death. Because for whatever reason, it'll fall on you. It'll make a falling sound just like a, a really big one, a really big tree, and if it falls on you, you will die. So you yeah, have been warned, people. 
Because that's what happened to my friend Baron. He was like, there wasn't anything around. But I did the same mistake. It didn't kill me, fortunately, but uh, it did cause quite a bit of a problem. Okay, so I have all of this. I should probably start making log spikes. Let's see. Spikes. I'm turn them all into spikes. I don't know how many spikes I need, but I know I need some. I'm gonna chop this one down, because I don't need it around my base. Now the problem is I'm probably gonna have to like redo all of this. Hey, they took out my, my nice stairs. That was very mean of them. But I might just take down like this portion of it and then just oh, reopen the that thing and make a a drawbridge. Which I have learned from other Let's Players. Now you can make a drawbridge, put some spikes beneath it, and then when you're inside the house they'll go after your they'll usually go after your door. And then once they once they get to your door, they're gonna tear it down. But if you have the the drawbridge up, they'll just fall into the spike and kill themselves in a repeated fashion, which is awesome. Let's see. I don't know how many spikes I need though, which is kind of sad. Let's see. Can I pick these up? I'm gonna pick them up. Start right here. Another thing I like about these houses is that it's always on some nice uh, ground. That's generally pretty flat. What's up, dude? Haha, -ha, I got you. No one can say I suck at shooting headshots. Except me. Because I know I suck. Nobody else is allowed to say that. Doggy! Get the dog. Where do you come from? You're not supposed to be here. Bad dog. Why do I keep missing you? Why did I put away my melee weapon? But you just stopped? Uh oh. I'm gonna kill you. Well, I probably should have just let you go. Why is it so hard to kill you? I'm throwing so many arrows at you. Okay, I take back my... There we go. Finally, you die. Now give me your leather. I gotta hoard this leather. Like I hoard gold. I'll take that. Bye-bye, zombie. I wonder if you can actually do anything with, like, rotten meat. That'd be really cool if you could. Maybe, like, befriend a zombie dog, and then just have them attack other zombies. They won't know the difference. Start doing that. And now that I've gotten rid of my mortal enemy, I'm gonna go and, uh, chop down some more trees. I don't really like the pine trees, though. They kind of suck. Oh, I've noticed when you, when you cut trees down like this on a slope, just think of it as gravity on the other side of that. There we go. So, so far, really good start. It was very awesome that I found that town. Usually, like in my multiplayer sessions, I don't find a lot of towns. Well, except for what's very I don't know why. I usually tend to find like a lot of gas stations, so, which is really cool. Now give me your wood. As long as these things don't uh, fall through the world, like I know that they have the tendency to do, I will be very happy. I think I may have enough wood for now. I want to get this down as soon as possible because I got two days left until the big horde. Oh, that's weird. Kind of looks like you can see under my house. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, spell doom for me. Sixteen spikes? I thought I'd go- I thought I was gonna get more. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Goodbye, bush. I uh, probably won't be able to get a whole lot of um, of defenses around my my little place, but uh, I can certainly try. I definitely won't be able to upgrade them immediately, because wood around here is well, it's not scarce, but it's not the wood that I want. I, I prefer maple trees. They're just really awesome to take down. Ooh. I definitely hope uh, my little garden grows before I start starving. Cause I don't like going to the sham place. Like if you're really desperate, then go to the sham way, cause that will give you a lot of food and water. It'll make you, you'll be set for several days for that, depending on how many people you have in your team. But I'm usually like a solo player, so it does not uh, bother me too much. There we go. So far, so good. None of the none of the bad things have happened yet. Although I am hearing a lot of footsteps, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for them. I do see a couple of zombies over there. Oh, looks like there's a wandering horde over there, going straight for my house, sadly. Although I do think there are, are zombies trapped in, uh, in the cave, since I keep hearing rocks breaking. Hopefully these guys will just pass me. Or I will just kill them. Let's see how many zombies. Yeah, it's definitely... A wee bit of a horde. I'll get rid of them. For the levels. As soon as I can kill these wobblies. I don't like the wobbly. Head bobbers. Ah, I should have killed you. There we go. I was hoping for some nurses, though. Well, as long as I level up, it's all good. Because more levels equals better equipment. And better equipment, better chance for a survival. And I have plenty of iron for everybody, and wood, and feathers for now. Oh, it doesn't mean I should waste them. But hopefully one of these guys has a forge book, or some sort of book. I know some of these guys drop books. Or if I'm lucky, I'll find a steel arrowhead. Although, I do think fun pips should make it to where you can get iron arrowheads from steel arrows, not steel arrow arrows. Ah, my tongue. I can't fight and talk at the same time. It's impossible for me. I want steel arrowheads, but if I find steel arrows, I want to be able to take out steel arrowheads from it. I don't care about the... Uh, I don't care about anything else. I don't care about the wood or the feathers. No, I just want the steel arrowhead. I'm pretty sure in real life you can just rip off the arrowhead and have yourself a nice arrow. Or make another arrow. Or in my case, I can make a mold of it and then just make a ton of arrows from it. Oh, that's quite a bit of a horde. Hey, are you stuck? You better not be stuck. And it looks like there's some nurses. Woohoo! Let me break that down, throw that out. Ah. Zombie, stop being stuck. I really don't like uh, killing them at this angle. Because it's really annoying. But getting stuck on there is pretty good. Now, if only one of them would give me a beaker. One, two, three. These iron arrows are awesome. Alright, okay, look at that guy. Ah, uh, you almost got me. 
Not quite. Okay, this is a nurse I haven't looked at. Yay for bandage! Kill that lady. Or that dude. I'll make a bonfire out of this watch. Yes! Level 11. Leveling the right way. Although even if I wanted to, like, level up real fast, it's not gonna happen. It's like these guys are having problems. And I'm having problems hitting them. There we go. And one for you, come on, stop spinning. There we go, nice headshot. Although I did hear somebody just uh, hit the floor. Which means... I have more company. I'm touched. I'm gonna touch all these zombies. Hmm, hope that they give me good stuff. And that was sadly mistaken. There's nothing on them. Now that I should start replanting too. The one thing survivors should always remember is to recycle and replant. I might have to travel a little bit more for my wood, which is super fine, because then I don't have to worry about raising the heat map and just getting a bunch of zombies towards me. Somebody just died. I want to blow up there. Or the zombies' own stupidity. They do tend to run into cactus, cactuses. Cacti. Yeah. Oh, I also did find out that uh, the crossbow has its own boat bolts. Not just like the regular crossbow bolt where it's just stone. But there's iron and steel, yeah. which is kind of awesome. Although since I can't make a crossbow yet, I would have to figure out... Or I'd have to ask somebody how, how good is the crossbow with, like, you know, the iron bolts and everything. Like, is it worth it? Like, is it actually worth it, or is it, um, or is it, uh, you know, not worth it at all? Because I know the crossbow is worth it because it's really OP. However, aiming with that thing is just terrible. Or at least for me. Oh. Okay, that was scary. This already made me jump out of my skin. But as long as it's not a zombie breaking my legs, it all is good. Ooh, more, more feathers. This is good. I need more feathers. There we go. Oh, since I've been leveling up quite a bit, I might be able to make a very good bow. Hmm. Still weird how there's like no entity damage for, for any of this. Zero, zero, zero. I would love to have some entity damage stuff on there. What's up, lady? There we go. I haven't searched this one. Sweet. And there's more thunder. And I get more coffee. Woohoo! Alright. Ah, more lady. What's up, lady? There we go. Uh, try to make some more spikes. I don't think I need a whole lot. I think I'm almost done. Hmm. Although I don't know if I should cover this this area right now. I'm just hearing like some footsteps and I want to make sure nobody's coming up behind me. I might just put a couple of spikes around here. Man, that thing's loud. No, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Yeah, it's good. Let's see, I got a nice shovel. But since I don't want to, you know, tear up my my place, because I know it has a lot of a lot of um, this clay deposits. I want to ruin the clay deposit. I want to ruin my house. My house is really nice. 
And there's a nurse. She must die. Uh, what? Did I just hit my crop? That really sucks. So, I think that will be it for now. I think I'm just gonna go and grab some clay somewhere here. And I will see you in, in the next episode. Bye! Get away from me. Get away hey. from me, nurse. It's oh my god, that's early. a dog. Oh, you got a dog already? Jesus Christ. I got some, uh... Oh no, that's a bear. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they put bears in here. You gotta be careful. Wow. <laughs> you died. It literally spawned him on.